Hi everyone, it's Karen here from tevinscolor.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this is the card that I've been making today. Uh, I went to the cinema yesterday, can you tell? I went to see the Captain America film and it was a really good film, really enjoyed it. And when I came out I thought, Do you know what? I think that Captain America's shield would make a good design for a card. So uh, this is it. So stay with me and I'll show you what I did. To help me judge the sizes of circle I wanted to cut with my circle framelits dies, uh, what I did was I got some paper that I wasn't using anymore and I cut out every single one of the circles. And I numbered them from number one being the tiniest to number nine being the largest of the plain ones. And then I just layered them up. So I know that I needed uh, number nine is going to be my biggest card. So it's going to be my base of my card. So let me try putting number eight on top of that. And that leaves me with quite a narrow frame. I think I want something a bit deeper than that. So let's try number seven. And I think that looks about right. So number six will probably not give me a deep enough frame. And that's the case. Uh, so let's try number five and that I think works pretty well and for the uh, so that is going to be red silver red and for the one in the middle four it's going to leave me too shallow a frame so let's try three and that I think I know the pattern's not the best in the world but that I think is 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 about right so those are the the the, uh, the dies that I'm going to use so I'm going to use number one two three four five six seven and number nine so that's what I'm going to be using to die cut my glimmer paper. To make the base of the card I've got a piece of the thick whisper white and I cut off about four and a half inches off just off the top of it, folded it in half and then I took my number nine, my largest of my circle framelits and I put it on the card so that it was just missing the folded edge. Okay and then ran that through the big shot. When I took it out I still had my hinge and I did one more thing, because this is a circle card, um, if you try to stand a circle card up on the mantelpiece or <laughs> wherever you're putting your, wherever you're displaying your cards, they will roll. Right? And there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. So what I did was I just got my scissors and I just chopped a little bit off the, uh, the back of the card so that I've got a flat uh, piece to stand on. And that will allow, whoops, if they don't collapse, that will allow your card to stand up okay I know it's not easy seeing it from the top but that card is standing up I've so cut three circles of glimmer paper I cut the real red using the largest of the dies that I'm using today which is the one that I'm calling number nine I cut uh, a silver glimmer paper in the next size down that I'm using today which is the number seven and I cut some dazzling diamonds in the smallest one that I've been using today which is the number three now I also need a one that is between that size and that size and I could have cut one out using the number five die but actually to be more economical what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circle that I've already cut out and cut out um, the inside with the number five dies. So if you'll excuse me I'll pop over to the big shot and I will be right back. And there we are. I've now taken a piece out of the middle. Uh, you know, this stuff is, is precious. We want to get the best use possible out of it. Now, you've probably noticed that this is actually uh, white and I need it to be quite a dark blue. So what I have here is I have my mini mister and uh, I put some uh, alcohol, uh, surgical spirit or rubbing alcohol uh, and I've put quite a lot of re in there. So I used, I think it was about 10 drops of Night of Navy and 10 drops of Pacific Point. So that, that is quite heavily coloured. And I'm going to spray. I'm going to bring in a piece of grid paper. And 
I'm going to put a bit of tissue, a bit of um, kitchen towel underneath as well. And I'm going to wipe the corner of that before I start because otherwise I will get it all over my fingers. I don't particularly want to. I'm just going to spray. And I'm going to give it quite a heavy spray and I'm going to let it dry. And when it dries, I have one here that I have prepared earlier, given it time to set up overnight. It will look like that. Uh, now that actually is two layers. So I sprayed it as you just saw and then I let it dry and then I came back in and I sprayed it again. Um, because it will kind of lighten up as it dries. But I think that's pretty effective, don't you? So I'm ready now to layer up my card. My card base and I want to make sure that my hinge is at the top and I'm going to start with my red circle, my red donut and I'm using wet glue because whenever you're using um, whenever you're using a glimmer paper you do need something that will really kind of get in and really really stick and for me that is a wet glue every single time okay so i'm pushing that down so that i've got it right up against the edges and am i happy with that yes okay so my silver layer comes next and um, i've got the old tombow glue here And I honestly wouldn't recommend using anything other than wet glue. So I'm centering that, wipe that bit away. Bit of tissue. I did that, it does dry clear. Fortunately for me. Because I am not the world's um let's see if we've got it there. I'm not the world's cleanest gluist if that's a word. It is now. I just invented it. And this is the piece we cut out of the centre. Ooh! It's alive! Actually, I think I want a bit more glue on there. don't think I've got enough. Because when you're sticking glitter to glitter, it does need to be able, it needs something that will really kind of get in and actually get to the surface. The noises off are the cat enjoying uh, her latest present, which was a box from the delivery man, which came with lovely brown paper inside so that she can get in and she can really have a good, a good old rustle. Okay, so that's nice and even, and that's starting to look the business already. And now we've got the blue circle in the very middle. So we have the, the red, the white, and the blue. Okay, so again, I'm taking my time and making sure that that is stuck down really, really well. Now it needs one more thing, it needs the star in the middle and I used our medium star punch which is this one and cut out a star out of the, the silver uh, glimmer and that is going to go in the middle just like that. Oops, now you see what I mean about it needing to so have quite a bit of glue on there. So it's a fine line between putting enough on and having so much that it sort of splodges out the side. So let's make sure at this point that I've got it facing up because we want the star so that it points upwards because the shield is held that way. And there you have it. Okay, so it needs one more thing, I think, and that is going to be a sentiment. Now, um, 
I think if I put anything on the front of that, that will really spoil the impact, so I'm not going to. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the inside, and I'm using uh, the Watercolour Wishes stamp set. Now this comes as part of a kit, uh, which has enough inf in it to make 20 cards, I think it is, uh, and at the end of it, you're still left with, the, uh, with all the stamps. So that's a real good, real good buy. And the cards, I really had lots and lots of fun making those cards as well. And I'm using the one that says, you're amazing. Now, actually, I was doing you're amazing. Really, it should be a Spider-Man card because he's the amazing Spider-Man, isn't he? But uh, this, is the, this is the best I've got in the house at the moment. So I'm going to stamp, you're amazing on the inside there. And it's photopolymer stamp. And I'm using basic black archival ink, which I should have said. So I've got my silicone mat underneath and I'm holding that down and giving that a good long time for the ink to transfer. And there it is. And that, my friends, is that. So there it is, all finished. I don't know about you, but I think that would be a nice card for a superhero fan. What do you think? Leave me a comment. Uh, and if you've liked this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you really liked and you'd like to see more from me, then please do subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more soon. And if you want to know more about me and about stamping up, or if you want to get your hands on the items that I've used in this video, then do check out the more information box below because there you will find a link to my blog, to my Facebook page and to my online shop. And that is it for now. So once again, thank you very much for joining me and I hope I'm going to see you again soon. Bye bye.